Hey kids! So today I'm going to show you how to cook spaghetti squash. It's a nice healthy alternative to using spaghetti pasta if you're making spaghetti. So uh, I thought I'd just walk you through that because it's kind of it's kind of cool and it tastes good and you can eat it just uh, put a little butter on it and it actually tastes really good that way too. Fairly inexpensive uh, at the store so yeah just something to switch it up for you if you're tired of eating uh, burgers. <laughs> so uh, but before we do that, I do have a dad joke for you. Uh, you know, since spaghetti squash is a substitute for spaghetti noodles, you might call it an impasta. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to wash it because it sits in the, you know, it grows in the ground or on the ground, like, right, like a pumpkin. So you want to wash the outside, get rid of the dirt. And then the way I do it is I just cut it right in half. Just right in half. Okay. And then very similar to a pumpkin, it has seeds inside of it, right? Okay, so all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna remove those seeds. And a tool like this, uh, you know, a spoon like this that has a halfway decent sharp edge, works really well. You don't wanna, uh, you don't wanna get too deep in there because you don't wanna take away from the meat of the of the squash, but it's just like a pumpkin. Okay, I think on my baking video I showed this with a pumpkin because uh, it's just really similar. When I, when I add a little bit of pumpkin to my pumpkin pie, I did the same thing. So basically that's what you're doing, just like that. Fairly easy. And like I said, these things are fairly inexpensive too, so, and good for you. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. Go ahead and do the other side now too. I've never cooked these seeds. You probably could cook them though, <laughs> just like pumpkin seeds. They look very similar. So I have not tried that though. But part of pump cooking pumpkin seeds, if you remember from my video before, is kind of the nostalgia of it. You know, it isn't, uh, it's a little bit of work <laughs> to, uh, to cook them when you cook them at home, but it is kind of fun to do as a family. So I don't know that I'd bother to, to mess with that with these for the amount of seeds that you'd actually get out of it. Okay, so that's about it. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in uh, about a half inch of water into this pan and we're gonna turn these upside down just like that and cook them in the water for 40 minutes on 350. Okay, that's, it's as simple as that. So I'll go ahead and do that and walk you through that too. Okay, I got my oven at 350. It's preheated to 350. I have the water in here. It's about a half inch worth of water, uh, half inch worth, about a half inch of water. <laughs> okay. Uh, sitting in there and then that's just sitting in there, just face down, just like that. And so we're just going to put this in the oven for 40 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my timer. And I don't know if you know this too, but this is helpful to know. You can have a timer, um, on your, when you set, uh, something to cook, you can put a timer and it has nothing to do with uh, shutting the oven off. But there's also a cook time. If you put cook time and put it to 40 minutes, it'll actually turn the oven off at 40 minutes. If you have the timer, you can just use it just as a timer and then it'll run for 40 minutes and then just go off and the oven stays on though. So that's the difference between the two, if, that, if that's helpful to you. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and set the cook time to 40 minutes. 
start and there we go so now it'll go for 40 minutes and then it'll actually shut off the oven when we're done okay see that it's actually turning the whole it turned the oven off right when the timer went off like i told you last time okay that's so that's what cook time does for you so the oven's off i don't have to worry about that now i'm just going to remove it okay okay so i just took it out of the oven this is going to be hot so you want to wear a glove if you're going to touch this now right um, and I'm just kind of touching it to feel if it's kind of a little bit mushy. You want it to be a little bit mushy. Yeah, I can tell that it is. So I'm going to let that set that set there for just a little bit and let it cool off. And then we'll come back and we'll, I, I clean this uh, spoon up. Uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and pull it out of there and then we'll just scoop that out and we'll put it right in here. And you could, like I said, you could just eat this straight from here, put a little butter on it, a little bit of salt. You could just eat it straight like that or you could put some spaghetti sauce on it. So anyway, let's just wait for just a little bit, let this cool off, and then we'll come back. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to pick this up with a glove because it's still kind of hot. You can see that it's still kind of steaming. So I'm going to give you a close-up of this, but I just wanted to show you. See that? It kind of peels off like spaghetti. Pretty cool. So... I'm going to go ahead and move the move the camera closer so you can you can see that but yeah it's just coming off nice and good there yeah okay let me move the camera for you so you can see that okay see that pretty cool huh it looks just like spaghetti it's like spaghetti doesn't it I wonder why they call it spaghetti squash. Hmm. Pretty cool. And good for you, you know, healthy. So. Okay, and it kind of just comes out of there fairly easy. It all depends on how, how close you want to get it to the, to the edge. You should be able to get pretty much all of it out of there. See, that's a lot. That's only half of it. Okay. Fogging up my glasses. <laughs> See that? That's probably serve a few people there, especially if you add uh, spaghetti sauce to that or just butter. Like I said, it's a pretty nice, healthy snack. A little bit of salt and pepper, you could even just get by with that. It has a nice flavor to it just by itself. So. There you go. It's a pretty nice, uh, fairly simple uh, meal to cook, right? Um, and healthy. So it'd be a nice snack for you. Uh, you know, I know in college it's uh, fairly common to just cook pasta uh, because it can fill you up and it's fairly inexpensive and you could just make a plate of pasta, boil a plate of pasta and then eat that uh, fairly cheap. But this would be a much more healthy version of that same thing. And doesn't cost all that much more and just a little bit of preparation and you're good to go. So, all right. 
I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.